And now on to our dinosaur of the day, back to sauropods, <laughs> because this one is Polluted Titan. It was a request from Tyrant King via our Patreon and Discord, so thanks. It's a titanosaur that lived in the late Cretaceous in what is now Romania, in the San Petru Formation. We mentioned it in episode 400, because it's a hot seg dinosaur, but we talked about a lot of dinosaurs, so now we're going to dive a little deeper into this one. As a titanosaur, polluted titan would have walked on four legs and had a long neck and a long tail. But some paleoart depicts it with a stout neck. Meaning wide and short? Or just wide, yeah. It's relatively small. It's estimated to be about 20 feet or 6 meters long and weighing 1.1 tons. Yeah, it's like roughly the same as chin long. It is. In some ways. <laughs> Except this one's a titanosaur in the late Cretaceous. So. And it's quadrupedal, yeah. Yeah. They're both sauropodomorphs, <laughs> around 20 feet long. <laughs> Polluted Titan fossils were found in 2002 during a Belgian-Romanian expedition. They found a partial skeleton in floodplain deposits, and at the time, it was the most complete sauropod found in Romania. Then it was named and described in 2010 by Zoltan Siski and others. The type species is Polluted Titan nalitzensis. The genus name means marsh titan, and the species name refers to where the fossils were found. The holotype is a partial skeleton without a skull, and it includes vertebrae, part of the tail, part of the pelvis, part of the thigh bone, and two toe claws. At the time, it was thought it could be a specimen of Magyarosaurus, which is another titanosaur that lived around the same time and place, but they didn't have any shared distinguishing features, and the fossils were found in a different location. And there's unique features in details of the vertebrae, the neural spines, and the pelvis. So, Polluted Titan became the second titanosaur described from the Hot Seg Basin, after Magyarosaurus. Both Polluted Titan and Magyarosaurus are lithostradians, which are derived titanosaurs that lived in the early to late Cretaceous. Many of them in the group had osteoderms, but not all of them. A 2022 study of titanosaur tails found that there may be four different sauropods in Hot Seg Island. So Polluted Titan, Magyarosaurus, as well as quote-unquote Magyarosaurus hungaricus, and an unnamed species. Some of the vertebrae indicated that there were medium-sized sauropods in the Hot Seg Island, so they wouldn't be considered island dwarfs, which would show some more complexity in how these sauropods evolved. Because Hot Seg Island is known for the dwarf dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, one of the biggest examples of like weird stuff happening on islands. Mm -hmm. There was a study in 2012 that examined some egg clutches from the Hot Seg Basin. A lot of eggs going on in this episode. Mm -hmm. And they were found in the same formation as Polluted Titan. They found 11 clutches of 40 eggs in total that were all thought to be from the same dinosaur species. The clutches averaged four eggs each that were nearly five inches or about 12 centimeters in diameter. But it doesn't sound like they had any embryos. No, it's unclear which species the eggs belong to. They just sort of assume maybe it's from this dinosaur because they're nearby? I don't think there's an assumption that it's polluted titan. I think okay. it's just unknown at this point. But it does show that the Hatzeg Basin could be a major nesting site for dinosaurs in the late Cretaceous. For sure, for dinosaurs that were stuck on <laughs> Hatzeg Island, they would probably nest on Hatzeg Island. It also kind of shows how the smaller sauropods dealt with laying eggs because they averaged four eggs in each clutch, but hmm. other sauropod egg sites, they had about 15 eggs per clutch. Yeah, that's not very many. So yeah, not having too many eggs in one clutch might be part of that island effect or adapting to the smaller body size due to the island effect. Instead of laying smaller eggs, you just have fewer eggs. Could also mean that maybe they were doing more parental care. It's quite speculative. That is very maybe. speculative. <laughs> also, in the paper I was talking about with Chen Long, and they were saying that I didn't get into it, but they talked about the number of eggs per clutch. Mm -hmm. They ranged from something like four to 16. Oh. And they were saying, but we don't really know because there's always a problem of incomplete fossilization. Mm -hmm. So maybe the ones that had four eggs actually did have 16 or even 30, Ooh. but we only had four that were preserved. So that could be the case here too. That's true. It's hard to say. Oh, the other reason they don't think it's polluted titan is because the eggs and eggshells look similar to nemectosaurid eggs that have been found in Patagonia, Argentina. So they think these eggs came from a nemectosaurid. 
and Magyarosaurus is a Namectosaurid. Hmm. They found these millimeter-sized embryonic integument. So there's a little bit. It wasn't... It's not that they found an embryo exactly because the embryo seems to have died before forming bones, hmm. but it had this dermal papillae. So they had these dome-shaped features like the beginnings of osteoderms on a very small piece of skin, which looks similar to what we see in modern crocodilians at a similar age. And Magyarosaurus, in addition to being a nemectosaurid, is thought to have had osteoderms. Hmm. So there's no real embryo, but there's just like maybe traces of osteoderms. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. It also seems weird that the osteoderms would form before the skeleton, but who knows? (laughs) Who knows? And the fossilization process is weird. Some other animals that lived around the same time and place as Titan include, of course, Megarosaurus, as well as the Hadrosaur Tomatosaurus, the Iguanodont Zelmoxes, the Nodosaurid Struthiosaurus, and, of course, the apex predator of the time, the pterosaur Hatsegopteryx. Yep. The weirdest thing of all. Yes. <laughs> the pterosaur was dominating the dinosaurs. <laughs> and we, Yeah, we talked a lot about that pterosaur in episode 400. Yep. For those of you who listen to our Dinosaur of the Day segment and you like it, please consider becoming a patron. We take new Dinosaur of the Day requests from our patrons and offer a bunch of other perks as well. So check out our page at patreon.com slash I know dino or click the link on the left.